And number five, I give my life to service because serving makes life meaningful. What's, what's really meaningful in life? You ever ask yourself that? What really counts? Now, if you look at me from the outside, you would think that the Colts winning a game is of eternal value. But I know it's not. And I keep trying to tell myself that. And, and maybe I'm starting to listen a little bit, but uh, I guess I, I kind of busted myself when it came to the election. And I just said, well, you know, I'll, I don't want to hear about it. I'll just wait for the morning to see who won. Or if that was the Colts plan, I'd be glued to the TV. So, anybody else feel the same way? So, yeah, we all need prayer, don't we? Okay. But what's really meaningful? Well, this is what it says in 1 Corinthians. Keep busy in your work for the Lord, since you know that... Keep busy in your work for the Lord, since you know that nothing you do in the Lord's service is ever without value. It says nothing that you do. No matter how simple it is, nothing you do is without value. Everything I do in the name of Christ Jesus, every kind act I commit, every everything that is done, it counts for eternity. There'll be no Super Bowls in heaven. There'll be no Super Bowl trophies in heaven. But I, I think there'll be a lot of, excuse me, a lot of humble servants that nobody hardly knows anything about, that will have a really wonderful place in heaven because they dedicated their life to serving other people. So I turn it up, make sure there's hundreds and thousands and millions of people that we've never heard of. That their life has great meaning because they spent their life serving other people. Jesus says in Matthew 10, 42, if anyone gives even a cold, a cup of cold water to one of these little ones who is my disciple, truly I tell you that person will certainly not lose their reward. So Jesus says, even the simplest thing that you do for someone who is my disciple, he says you will not lose your reward. Lots of ways to serve people. I know a lot of you are out there right now, you, you, your life is a life of service, and, and I applaud you for that. But I, I do want to invite you. I don't want to put any pressure on you or, or, or anything, but to invite you. If this is your home church, I just want to invite you uh, to serve in your home church. If this is, this is where you call your church, uh, I want to make that invitation to you to consider uh, serving in the church. There's, there's lots of different ways to serve. Uh, we have a setup team that meets early in the morning. We hear about 8.30. You know what? I think the people who who come to set up or probably have built some great relationships. I know they have. They've built some great relationships. Because we don't just set up. I mean, we talk. You know, sometimes we kind of goof off when we set up. I mean, uh, it's a great thing to do. It's wonderful. There's, there's you can pass out of bulletins. You know, greet people at the door. There's, there's children's church opportunities. And as she said in children's church, you don't have to commit every week. You can, can, you can commit yourself once a month. We need PowerPoint workers and and Sarah, she's the, she's the uh, you know, uh, she's the warrior of the PowerPoint. And, and uh, you know, if you want to run power, help her run PowerPoint, and run sound, if you have musical abilities, uh, we invite you to be part uh, 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 of our band. Musical abilities are important to be a part of the band, but, you know, uh, if you're not quite there, we'll help you get there. So I invite you to live a life of service, that's what God has called us to do. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you so much. And not only have you, have you called us to be your children, but you've called us in your service uh, to serve you. God, we, we thank you so much for just the privilege of doing that. And I pray that you help each of us, Lord, to be able to refocus our lives so that we can see the needs around us. And you can show us with our personality, with our gifts, with our abilities, with our time schedules, how we can truly be your servants. And that through that, we can spread your grace and your goodness to other people. In Jesus' name we pray.
Sarah Robertson. I've got just a couple of announcements for you. If you want to pull out your bulletin that you were handed uh, when you walked in. Um, first of all, if you're thinking, hey, there is an area that maybe I'd like to serve in. There is a table right outside this door. Just walk past the donuts, grab one if you need one. Uh, but there are sign-up sheets out there. You can see where we would we'd love to have you serve, and, and it's definitely rewarding. Um, even though it doesn't always go okay, you know, with PowerPoint, it is still a fun thing to do, and we'd love to help back there, too. So, um, inside.